We've been talking about the long, drawn-out war on drugs. But another war is being waged that you may know nothing about, the war against the homeless. On April 18th, the ACLU sent a letter to both the Department of Justice and the Detroit Police Department urging that the practice of dumping the homeless be stopped. A year-long ACLU investigation claims the following. Detroit police officers stopped people perceived to be homeless in the tourist area of Greektown in Detroit. They forced them into vans, took them for a ride, and deserted them miles away. The sad truth, Detroit isn't the only city that treats the homeless this way. Joining me now from Detroit is Michael Steinberg, legal director of the ACLU of Michigan. Nice to have you, Michael. Thank you, Melissa. So tell me, what did your investigation show that the police were doing to folks who are experiencing homelessness in Detroit? Essentially what the police were doing were kidnapping individuals off the streets of tourist-friendly areas of Detroit, putting them in handcuffs, uh, throwing them in the back of a wagon or a police car, and transporting them either outside the city or to deserted parts of the city and abandoning them. They then tell the individuals that they weren't welcome back into Greektown or other tourist-friendly areas. Uh, sometimes they'd make it difficult for them to return by making them throw their money down a storm drain. And the problem, of course, is that the lifeline uh, for many of these individuals uh, is in Greektown. There mm -hmm. are warming centers, there's food and churches and other services. So they'd have to walk sometimes through the middle of Michigan winter. Um, one person had a blood clot in mm. his leg and it took him over three hours to get back. Michael, I want to take a moment and listen to some of the men talking about their own experiences and then I'll, I'll have you respond to something. Okay. Did not ask who we were? You know, get in the van. I asked him if I was free to go. He told me no. You took like maybe a, a 15 minute ride. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're ending up. Maybe when you get there, you're uh, you're abused in some way. Um, what would that feel like? And we're walking back. It took us almost five hours to get back. Walking, it was cold. So, Michael, have the have the Detroit Police Department or the Department of Justice addressed these concerns? Well, we had the quickest response time in Detroit by the police uh, in history, I think. As soon as we sent our letter, um, they sent over two members of internal affairs uh, saying they wanted to investigate it. Um, they've met with some of the individuals that we've spoken to, and we hope it will put an end to it. Um, we've also reported it to the Department of Justice because we believe that the practice violates the consent judgment that was entered into between the DOJ and the Detroit Police Department. So, Michael, part of um, what we've been talking about this morning is criminalizing drugs. But there's also this kind of impact of criminalizing homelessness. And, and we were looking at not only in Detroit, but sort of all over the country, municipalities doing things like making it illegal to, to sleep or sit um, on, in a store or in personal buildings, um, laws punishing people for begging or panhandling, uh, enforcement of these so-called quality of life ordinances. Um, tell me, is there a war on the homeless? It, you can definitely appropriately characterize it as a war on the homeless. Uh, we are challenging a state law in Michigan that makes it a crime to beg in public. Um, we have represented individuals who have been uh, charged with trespass for sleeping on public land. They're essentially criminalizing the status of being homeless. Uh, society, if, if we want to stop seeing homeless people on the streets, we have a society has have to treat the problem as a social problem, mm -hmm. not a criminal justice problem. Uh, we have to provide mental health services to those who need it. We have to provide uh, drug treatment mm -hmm. programs for those who need it in public housing. We can't yeah. make it a, a crime to be homeless. It's not, homelessness is not going to go away yeah. by making it a, a illegal. Michael Steinberg in Detroit, I, I so appreciate that point and it, it dovetails so nicely with what we're talking about in, in terms of drugs. We have, a, we have a set of social responsibilities, epidemiological problems here. It is not solved through criminalizing. Thank you for your work. Thank you.